The robot's name is Delphi Nimble. I can flap the right wing pair and the left wing pair independently. And uh, flapping these wings together, this is what uh, provides the lift force uh, such that the robot can fly. Now, if I flap one of the wings faster than the other one, it will also make the robot uh, rotate around its forward pointing axis. Uh, we can also adjust the uh, position of the wings with respect to the body. So the wings can move a little bit behind the body, like now, or in front of the body. And this allows us to actually control the rotation around the lateral axis, so we can uh, tilt the body a bit more forward or backward. It's so lightweight and safe that uh, it would be really good to have this flying in an environment even around people or above people. So for example, we think of applications like in greenhouses where it can look at the plants and see if it needs more water or, uh, for example, also minerals or something. Um, but it can also fly in warehouses to keep track of the stock. And the big difference with drones that are being envisaged at the moment for such applications is that those are typically pretty big. And then people have to start uh, using helmets or things like that to be safe. But if you have a drone like this, it's a bio-inspired drone, then it's so lightweight and safe that people can just do their work and it will fly over people um, and it will not harm them even if everything goes wrong.